Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video will be a quick vlog and review of our stay at the Rio Palace Cabo San Lucas. Traveling with me are my husband and my sister. After a two hour flight, we finally arrived to San Jose del Cabo International Airport. I say finally because fun fact about myself, I love to travel, but I hate flying. Exiting the airport, you'll run into these guys in green. If you haven't previously booked transportation, I would recommend this service as the safest transportation to the hotel area. We paid an approximate fee of $60 for the three of us. It might seem a little pricey, but considering it is a 40 minute drive, it wasn't so bad. And in case you were wondering, Uber is not available. We finally arrived. When entering, we were asked to apply gel sanitizer and had our temperature taken. This is mandatory for all arriving guests as well as the face mask. After a very quick and easy check-in, we were off to look for our rooms. Okay, we finally found our room. It's a bit of a labyrinth here. So. Turn on the lights. This is the junior suite. Not super modern, but as you can tell, it is pretty big and it did have a balcony with an ocean view air conditioning, and a failed mini fridge. The bathroom and shower are very spacious as well. The next morning, we did wake up a little earlier to give you guys a full tour. A quick walk down these stairs and we'll be in the restaurant and pool area. This is one of the infinity pools with view to the Pacific Ocean. It's pretty big and it has in-water lounge chairs. And just a couple steps away, you'll find a smaller infinity pool with a swim-up bar. You'll also find poolside waiters, a snack bar with different types of food, a nearby buffet to dine in, or you can also grab and go.
on the opposite side of the property, you'll find an identical infinity pool. Another one with a swim up bar, but on this side, you'll also find a kiddie pool. Just a couple steps down and you'll find another seating area with lounge chairs and hammocks by the beach. Also with another bar at your service. At the opposite end of the bar, you'll find a small gym, but we didn't want to make anyone uncomfortable by filming them. After hitting the beach, you can also grab a snack and coffee at the Hotel Cafe Cappuccino. Or you can always stop by at Lounge 24. For dinner, the Rio Palace has six different restaurants. The first one, Medano Steakhouse. San Jose restaurant which serves Italian Crystal Restaurant, which serves steak and fusion dining. Bombay Indian Specialty Misaki Japanese Specialty
And last but not least, Mar de Cortés Buffet, which serves a wild variety of food. Rio Palace also has this bar lounge area where there's cool at night entertainment, such as dance performances and karaoke nights. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, at the opposite end of Cappuccino, you'll find another bar. You'll definitely never go thirsty at the Rio. Overall, we really enjoyed our stay at the Rio. Accommodations were good for the price. The food, like any other place, has its hits and misses, but it was mostly good. Service was definitely a 10 out of 10 from the staff. They did a great job at keeping the areas clean and sanitized, and they were all very, but very welcoming. Our flight was scheduled to leave at 10 p.m. and even though checkout was before noon, they let us stay the rest of the day and enjoy food and swimming areas until it was time for us to leave to the airport. That we really appreciated. One more thing, they do offer COVID testing if you need it for your flight back, so that's also very awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're planning on visiting Cabo and still unsure on which hotel to choose like we were, I hope our experience helps you decide. P.S. This video is not sponsored but would definitely be happy to be. Ryu, have your people call my people. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.